You're listening to Dean Michael here on True Radio, the home of proper good music, and on Sundays, proper good interviews as well. And this week, we're very, very, very honoured to have a guest that we had uh, last year, I think it was, on the programme, and it's Flint Bedrock. Hi, Flint. Hi, Dean. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Very busy doing all these festivals at the moment. but uh, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's good to be back at work. And it's wonderful to have you on the programme again, Flint. You was on, I was trying to work out when you was on last time, was it before Christmas during lockdown? Uh, yes, it's been a while, isn't it? It's been a while, it's been a while, yeah. yeah. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. And uh, we were chatting off air there. You're from, well, you're living in Leeds, but you, you originally you're from, is it Zimbabwe? It is, yes, I'm from Zimbabwe. That's right, yeah. And we spoke about that last time you was on the programme. But you write songs, you produce songs, you record songs, and you've you've done a marvelous one this time that I just I've been listening to this morning. It's absolutely fabulous, and it's called "Going Back Home." Did you write it in lockdown, Flynn? I did indeed. I did indeed. And the, the thing is, it's it's funny you just mentioned like where my uh, obviously my family is from, which is Zimbabwe. I actually went to Zimbabwe on holiday in January and ended up having to stay there till July because of the lockdown. I was, what was meant to be a very short holiday ended up being a very long holiday because uh, COVID hit. Good job you've got family there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been disastrous. <laughs> Imagine going on a holiday to say it's taste like Zimbabwe and, and going for a couple of weeks and then having to stay there all that time. I know it's beautiful there, but the thing is, you know, you'd probably run out. If you didn't have family there, you'd be running out of money, wouldn't you? What would, what would happen there? Absolutely. Listen, even people who have family who go to visit don't even dare stay past a month or a couple of months because things are pretty expensive, particularly if you live in a country like the United Kingdom. You're used to a certain way of life. So, you know, and, and it is expensive out there if, if you want to sort of have the things that you have over here. So um, even when I came back, a lot of people did ask, oh, how were you surviving, man? You spent, you know, this amount of time over there. You know, I'm just lucky enough to have family back there who were, you know, doing a little bit well for themselves. So it wasn't so much of an issue, but yeah. And, and are they all in the music industry, Flynn? My young brother is uh, an uh, aspiring musician. Uh, he's very talented, but uh, yeah, he's, he's fighting some, some demons. He's a bit of a wild one. Oh, <laughs> and is he in Zimbabwe? Or is he over here with you? No, he's in he's in Zimbabwe. Okay, okay. Well, let's hope everything he gets through his demons and everything. But uh, <laughs> it's wonderful to to speak to you again, as I say. And um, can you tell us a little bit how this new record came about? Then you, you recorded it in Leeds. I did. Yes, I did. Th this was really something that. Uh, I was thinking about through lockdown and we we're just talking about family day that uh, in our normal lives, I think uh, even without really noticing our families are sort of pushed to the back because between the, the job, between our social life and things like that, you know, the family is sort of like the people who are there taken for granted. We do, a, you know, a few family events and all of this, but uh, put you back in your box, you know, in a way. Uh, but I think this lockdown, because uh, uniquely for the first time in a lot of people's lives, we've only just had our families to turn to for uh, companionship, for support and things like that. So I think the importance of family has really been highlighted through this. I mean, I know for a fact without my family, I would have struggled to cope with the whole COVID thing. And I think it's the same for a lot of people. So I just thought, hey, let me make a record to celebrate family. That's wonderful. That is absolutely great. Now, what we're going to do, Flint, we're going to play a few songs here and then we're going to bring you back and we're going to talk about how you can buy the record, when it's available and everything else. And we're also going to play it as well, which is great. So, Flint, Fantastic. thanks for being with us here on True Radio, the home of proper good music. <laughs> 